welcome to Horn Trader on YouTube. Today, my special guest, all the way from Paris, France. Let's give a big bonsoir to this Paris Selmer K modified 19A, also known as the Louis Armstrong model or the balanced model. This is the medium bore. This is a 450. The serial number is 16,637. So this puts the manufacturer somewhere in um, 1955, I believe. Uh, it's probably been overhauled once in its life. You can see that the engraving is clear, just not edgy and sharp, but totally uh, uh, recognizable and beautiful. It's got the tone ring. It's got the ornate. Um, uh, finger or uh, uh, water keys. Look at that little medallion for your fingers for the water key. I just love Paris Selma instruments. They're so beautiful. Here's the compression. Pretty good, huh? Yeah. First valve, not quite as good. Still quite good. One of the reasons that these horns hold up so well is this nickel silver. Uh, lead pipe, uh, it fights corrosion, so you don't find them much with uh, red rot. Like I said, this one was overhauled, I don't know when, probably several decades ago, but it's in really good shape. There's no dents, a few scratches. Here's the 19A. See that? And then here it says K modified. And uh, quite a horn. Let's play a few money notes. So there we <clears throat> we tested like the A's, usually sharp, C sharps, D's, things like that. It lines up pretty good with itself. Very nice. Uh, it looks like the uh, the uh, inside uh, slide legs are also of a nickel silver. So once again, these horns fought corrosion, and so they stood the test of time. Great design. I think the gentleman's name was Keith Eckland. And so the K, or Keith, it was modified, meaning that he helped design this horn. And uh, he did a great job. I'm sure he's not with us anymore, but a big shout out to Keith Eklund. Good job, buddy. Um, what was also nice about these horns is the, it is the balance model. So the valve section is pushed about two inches further towards the belt. So get your arms out a little farther away from uh, your chest. Uh, it's great for um, mute changes, uh, plunger solos, things like that. Let's see what it sounds like with um, a little warmer mouthpiece sound. Still get that nice kind of cool chet sound out of it. Or you can really blow and get that kind of uh, that aggressive, you know, high uh, sassy uh, sound out of these. These are wonderful instruments. To my knowledge, there's only about two or three balanced models that I can recall. One is the uh, Selmer Balanced, 
We have the 23A, which is the medium large, the 19A, that's the medium, out of the Selmer line. And then there's the olds, the old super recording and the old recording. And uh, just recently, the Carol Brass, as we visited that design aspect. And uh, I just love them. They're a lot of fun. You can find this particular horn, serial number 16,637 or 673, what was it? 637, 16,637 in the vintage section of horntrader.com. Don't you love the look of these horns? Thanks a lot for listening. We'll see you on the next one. Bye-bye.